Alright, so if you're looking to make a bonsai tree farm, this tutorial will get you something like this. Today I'll just make one of these modules, which can either be manipulated into early game or late game as well. This is everything you need. If you're going early game, you can switch out the filing cabinet for wooden crates, and if you don't have any power, you don't need the packager either. First you need is just a double chest. On top of that you need two bonsai pots with any kind of blue mulch, or in some cases if you're doing other plants, uh, you would need a uh, blue, I think this is like purple slimy dirt or something like that for whatever this is. Uh, in this case, I'll just use dirt saplings though. Next, you need two item extraction cables on the left side of the chest and the back. On top of the left cable, you put a trash void. And in front of the back one, you can either put your wooden crates or your filing cabinet. For this scenario, I'll just use the filing cabinet. Now for the item sorting, I'd recommend putting both the extraction cables into the allowed list, so all of the items collect in the chest. Then you can decide which items you like to keep. In any of these, I don't actually keep the wood. In this example for the dirt saplings, I'm throwing, I'm keeping just the acorns and the resin, which in the final cabinet, I have 35,000 dirt resin and 20,000 dirt acorns. So in this case, I'll just grab the dirt resin and the dirt acorns and just put those into the extraction cable filters and set that to ignored. So that means anything that's not the dirt or the resin will, will be put into the trash void and just deleted. Vice versa on the back extraction cable, it's the same items but you're putting it on the allowed list. Make sure you bring your extraction rate up to 64 in each cable. If you're using the wooden crates, this will just work right away. But if you're using a filing cabinet, you need filing folders as well. And you just simply put that in your crafting recipe along with the acorns or the resin and you have the filters. Right click with an open hand to open the filing cabinet and just slap those folders in. Next what you want to do is just bring your item cables just above the filing cabinet and then they would actually go in. It doesn't actually import from the side of the cabinet so you have to pipe it along the top for it to go in. Now I already have, I have 300 dirt acorns just like that from uh, the blue mulch here. Next what you want to do is just put a hole in the floor and put your packager down into that. And then get your item duct, put that on top of the packager and get your servo and reinforced <laughs> your servo and reinforced filter. Put the servo on the cabinet and the filter on the packager. Right click onto the servo and set it to ignore redstone. Then if you look at the packager, everything should be pumping into there. Now you need to hook this up to power, but I don't actually have power over here, so this will, be, this will be unpowered for now, but in this case, this, this would actually be turning into dirt. And that's pretty much it for one module of a tree farm. You can hook this up to any kind of storage system you have. Like, for this example, we just have servos going into item docks straight into our storage system. Which is kind of fun, you can see the items flowing through. In another video, I'll explain how I use the smeltery system and the resin to actually produce all these tree items into blocks as well. So if you're interested in that, that should be in the top right right about now. And uh, yeah, that's about all for today. If you're interested into more Sky Factory 4, I actually have a 100 days video and 200 days coming out pretty soon. Those links will be down in the description below. So go check those out as well. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Peace.